Mystique Summers for the really lovely um, shout out and recommendation and help that she's been giving me in my bid to be on season three. If you are already, um, if we're not already friends on Facebook, please um, find me. Just look up Penetration. You'll find my fan page. And as well, join the group that I started called I Want Penetration on RuPaul's Drag Race season three. Um, I'm really working to um, start this off early. So anyway, enough of that. Um, so thanks, Mystique. Um, the other part, the um, contestant who was upset with me, um, sorry girl, I mean, I really don't know what else to say other than it's not my intention to upset you with any bit of this review. So, on to episode five. Um, I thought that the gift box idea was kind of cool. Um, I was thinking, you know, gosh, I wish I was a Nordstrom's gift box wraps, gift box wrapper <laughs> at the holiday because they do it so fast and they do such a great job. Um, I'm not sure how well I would do with that. I really never wrap that many gifts. I throw everything in a gift bag and, you know, a little paper on top. <laughs> so, um, I liked it when RuPaul came out. These are my notes again. Remember, I have to take notes so I remember everything. I liked it when RuPaul came out and said she was here to inspect their box. Um, I thought that was pretty funny. And I really love that Juju came up with borrowing something that wasn't as tangible as some of the other people had thought. Even though that can sometimes get you in trouble with the judges, I like that she used like the scent from someone as opposed to a literal object. So I thought that was cool. She didn't win. So maybe it wasn't that great of an idea, but I really liked it. I thought that was really clever um, and I admired her for that. Um, uh, then they had to do this uh, well, it, it's pretty much the alter ego photo shoot that I remember from the Real Housewives of Atlanta that Nene did, um, where they pretty much were boy um, and girl as bride and groom, but the same person. So that alter ego photo shoot, they pretty much photoshopped them together, and um, I thought that was really great. And then I saw the wedding dresses, and I was like, oh Jesus, I hope they would have really like bigger sizes. I can't imagine what I would do. Like, I guess you would take it, and, and they all made things of their own, so um, I, I, I'm not sure how that would have gone. I was just praying for a larger size, a bigger one. Um, so, um, it was a little cutthroat there for a minute, and you know, I'm of two minds here. I believe that, you know, sometimes it, it is a competition. It's not, you know, we're not all friends. We're not here because we're, you know, we're just going to have a really good time together, even though they do seem to be having a good time together. But, um, you know, it is a competition. At the same time, does it need to be cutthroat? I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't think it was that cutthroat. Nobody got hurt. It was just, you know, whatever. Um, I uh, have to say that as I was watching the makeup artist critique them, I was like, oh, God, this would be so hard for me because of how much, um, like, whether you like my makeup or not, I really do, put, I take a lot of time and, and put a lot of effort into the way this looks, and I think, God, what is this guy, you know, going to tell me if, you know, I make it on this season, and, or the next season, and he says, you know, you look like a monkey or a train wreck, and I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? So I got little pangs of, um, like, I, I don't know, it, it, it was, it, it was, it gave me a little trouble. I, I'm stuttering, clearly, because it gave me a little trouble. Um, I, um, but anyway, I thought that all the girls did, um, like, not a bad job in, you know, trying to make themselves very masculine and then going into drag. I really liked how Morgan went in a completely different direction and went, like, punk rock. I thought that was great. And I also liked, um... Oh shoot, I think it was Pandora that was like deer in headlights holding onto that thing. I thought that was really great. Um, and um, gosh, I can't remember anyone else's who stuck out in my mind. There were a couple of them that were good, but um, those are the ones that um, really stuck out for me. Um, now, on to the drama with this episode. I want to say uh, Tyra won. I, I think that it was, um, it was. Between Tyra and Raven, um, I think that they really, the judges really like 
what Tyra is doing. And I don't know that they don't like what Raven's doing. It's very interesting to me because I loved what Raven did. I thought it was really great and um, it was really sophisticated. I, I don't know sophisticated. It's still drag, but I liked it. So, um, I don't know. Tyra won and she thought she was going to be in the bottom. But boy, was there some drama. And um, the drama pretty much revolves around people maybe being not as considerate as they could be. But, ooh, I got a burp. I just smack my tits when I burp. So, um, Jujubee, uh, I have to say, some of the things that they pulled out of the show were really funny. Jujubee said to Sahara, uh, or not to Sahara, to um, Tyra, she said, get yourself some manners so you don't look so stupid. I was like, woo! That was a little rough. And all the gays in the crowd were like, dang, what's that not going to be like? And that's what it's like on the regular show. And then, of course, um, uh, Jujubee, I might, Jujubee, if you watch this, I might have to put this as my Facebook status. There's only one face on this bitch. I thought that was great. It was in reference to saying somebody was a two-faced bitch. Um, Tara's winning was not real popular amongst the gays here. I think everybody thought Raven was going to win, but I mean, it's the judges. They make whatever decisions they're going to make based on what they see. Um, and then Sahara and Morgan had to lip sync for their lives. I have to say that I did not like what Sahara wore, however, um, it is rare that I have ever seen someone say they can be on point and actually be on point. And um, I don't know how technically correct it was. I don't know. I'm not a ballet dancer. It was pretty impressive. Um, I uh, I don't so much need to see anybody drop into the splits, you know, from the second story. It's it's I mean it's amazing that anyone can do it, much less a boy in drag. But I don't know. The being on point and you know the doing all of that. Swan Lake Ballet business uh, was pretty impressive. I thought that was great. Um, and unfortunately, Morgan Morgan went home this week. So um, there uh, was a lot of apologizing and a lot of um, a lot of what felt um, insincere to me. And I'm not there. I know it's edited and all that. So I probably shouldn't judge this a whole lot, but it seemed really insincere. And then I was sitting there and I was struck by a quote from Monster in Law, which I probably should be quoting a movie like Monster in Law that's designed to be a comedy, but Jane Fonda says, you don't smack somebody and then apologize. And I thought to myself, you know, there is certainly a point where you have to apologize for your actions if they are unbecoming, but in this arena, I don't know that, you know, we are adults. I don't need your insincere apology to make me feel better. Like, I don't, I'm not going to think any more or less of you regardless of whether you give some lip service to an apology. And whether they were sincere or not, I don't know. I'm not there. I didn't, you know, who knows how this thing's been edited. But, um, I think this episode very much got the gays fired up. Um, and after the week off and um, not being able to see the show, they were a little, a little uh, low energy. So um, this episode very much got them fired up and eager to watch the show again. So uh, thank you, Paul. Thank you, World of Wonder Productions, uh, and all the fun stuff that you've got there. Uh, again, um, if we aren't already friends on Facebook, please look up my Facebook. Made me get a fan page. Please look up my fan page. Um, on Facebook, it's under Penetration, and as well, if you wouldn't mind joining my I Want Penetration on RuPaul's Drag Race Season 3 Facebook group, um, and I've said it enough, I'm Penetration, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.